here, the next contestant on The Price is Right. Uh, that is a show I haven't watched much lately. I remember when I was unemployed after I got out of uh, college and I was sitting in the 90s, and it just reminded me of being out of work and how I'd much rather be at work, so I haven't tried to watch it much since. And of course, Bob Barker was host then, now they have Drew Carey. Uh, so I guess that's my Simpsons couch gag, and uh, that's also proof of how long ago that was, I'm dating myself on some of those references. I'm aware of that. I uh, know that, uh, yes, some game show hosts uh, have been changed a lot, and I know I remember a few of them that not everybody would like on Family Feud. Like when I once met Louie Anderson, I said, fuck you as Family Feud host, came back to shake my hand. It's like, yeah, how many people remember that? Probably not too many. Uh, now for the regularly scheduled jokes. Uh, it's been a slow news week. I usually just talk about myself, but hey, uh, it, it's easiest to uh, write about yourself, so I've got to go with that and be autobiographical. Uh, I, I noticed that uh, sometimes I have to throw things out when uh, they're no longer useful, but I try to squeeze as much use as I can out of anything I buy. I, and uh, it's not too often that think, uh, wearable items end up uh, at Goodwill or anything like that. Usually I end up just uh, putting them in the trash. Yeah, uh, kind of like how I am with cars running until it's junk. Uh, but I did that with a, a bed sheet. It's like, yeah, it's torn. I don't like sleeping with a torn bed sheet. So yeah, I need to get rid of it. And then after that, I noticed I started saying the word cheat a lot. And I think I know why. Because it sounds a lot like I'm saying shit. Uh, yeah, I'm the type that analyzes my own dreams. I, I mean, I know myself pretty well as to uh, what I do and why I do it and all of that. Yeah. Although that probably makes me nerdy saying I'm analyzing my own dreams. But, uh, well, uh, history major, stodgy academic, do the math on that one. Uh, in fact, I uh, did one thing this weekend I don't think I had done very much before. I never left my apartment the entire day Sunday. I guess I just found a lot of things to do inside. And it's like, uh, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but I went through a storage box or two that I hadn't looked at in a while, and it's like, oh, uh, as the saying goes, you haven't used it in a while, get rid of it. So that's what I did with some of those things. I also put in a DVD movie, that helps uh, pass the time too. And I'm quite aware of why I chose watching Winter's Bone, which was a breakout role for Jenny Lawrence. Uh, I grew up in small town Iowa, and when I saw that movie uh, eight years ago, I said, the scenes and characters remind me a lot of growing up in small town Iowa. Rural Southwest Missouri, not that much different, except when I was growing up in uh, small town central Iowa. <coughs> they didn't have the problem with methamphetamine just yet. <laughs> But by the time I finished college, yes, I started hearing about it a lot more. Yes, I'm the type that says that instead of just shortening it to math. I think you already caught on about that nostalgia academic thing. Uh, I think that was also why I've been listening to uh, a song called Small Town Saturday Night by Hal Ketchum on YouTube quite a bit recently. It's like, yeah, no matter how, much, how long ago I left Small Town Iowa, it's still going to be a part of me. I'm aware of that. I even sang when I went to the karaoke bar this week. All right, that was Sunday. Uh, still trying to get back to work, but uh, a lot of things fall through. It's called temp agencies suck. I talked to three different people from the same temp agency, and I hate having to repeat myself. The first two calls were 15 minutes each, where I was answering uh, comparable questions. It's like, what, you haven't shared information? You haven't updated your database yet? I couldn't really hide being annoyed, disappointed with them. Uh, who could, even though I'm aware of how, uh, if you want a job, try not to be annoyed with people because they pick up on that and they think you're going to do that while you're at work. It's like, uh, no, I just don't have much patience with repeating myself, I don't know who would. So, yeah, there was that. And then the other uh, threesome was, uh, this is proof of how boring it can be to be out of work and try to find uh, things to occupy your time. I noticed that <coughs> in the past week, I bought three things that are really cheap that I don't have to use uh, uh, very much because I get a lot of use out of them. 
bottle of mustard, dish soap, and toothpaste. It's like, yeah, uh, I, why not squeeze as much yeast out of it literally as possible, uh, is the way I look at it. Yeah, that just is. Uh, <laughs> uh, and some th uh, of those things, yeah, I don't use that much, but I mean, I need flavor in my food. I, I think it's because I had too much sugar in my food for a while. Uh, but I, I love uh, the uh, TV dinner, so of course, chicken uh, strips. Gotta have mustard for that. Uh, so there we go. And of course, I'm so nerdy, I ended up realizing on the Heinz bottle why they had Keystone on it. Because they're based in Pennsylvania, which is the Keystone State. Yeah, history major. And yes, I'm aware of why they're called the Keystone State. Philadelphia was the national capital, and Pennsylvania sits right in the middle uh, of the original 13 colonies. And that's a uh, uh, stone that locks into place in the middle. Yeah. And then I noticed that when I went to Pennsylvania twice, not just Philadelphia, but also Pittsburgh, yes, you see the keystone all over there. So they really love that symbol. But if it's the state's nickname, that doesn't surprise me much. Uh, so there was the other three. Some uh, I bought a Charlie Brown book, got it for free because I had uh, Amazon gift card money. And there was one... Uh, a cartoon in particular that I just kept laughing at, and I laughed at a lot more than others. Woodstock was uh, out in the weather, and then it started snowing, and then uh, the snow covered him, and you can hear him snoring, and then Linus said, it's snoring instead of snowing. For some reason, that's just really funny to me. It's hard to explain, especially when I'm a big Charlie Brown fan, and nothing else was nearly as funny to me. I, I just don't get it, but hey, whatever floats your boat. So I guess that'll do it for me. Thank you, been great.